just faking the Good protection again. Shot. Aired out. Long far sideline. Intercepted by Dean. For the touchdown. And Hurts is just trying to lead it down the field. But Dean ends up becoming the receiver on the Try play. To see the What is good, everybody? It's your man, Eagle Chan Wan, bro. Let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about it. Because I'm seeing a lot of people, you know, want to bring up Carson Swinch. First of all, Carson Swinch was playing against a terrible Texas team, okay? Unless this man's playing the lead quarterback. He wasn't playing the lead team, okay? Shut up. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about these two front offices, Okay. Do you know why Jalen Hurts is not doing what Carson Wentz is doing? Do you know why? It's not to do with arm talent. Carson Wentz had all the arm talent. Because they ran the football. The hell? Ran the football. Jonathan Taylor had more snaps than Miles Sanders. Say what you want. Miles Sanders not getting used enough. Game won't even have a snap. We're not putting... Shane Steichen needs to stop calling... Because I think he's calling a place. Okay. Screen passes are predictable. Look at the Colts and look at the Eagles, okay? Any quarterback that goes to the Colts are going to be used right. Jalen Hurts will look good on another team, okay? When you don't run the football, when you got a dysfunctional office versus a team that's functional and has a good organization that is building around a guy like Carson Wentz. When you got an organization that's not building around Jalen Hurts that wants him to fail, that are saying they want Deshaun Watson. When Howie Roseman drafted him and said he was their next Russell Wilson, and now you want another quarterback? Now Jeffrey Lloyd wants to pour a freaking green light on Deshaun Watson? Eagle fans want Mitch? Why? It don't matter what quarterback you have. If you think another quarterback is going to come in there and change this team, you're fucking dumb. I'm sorry to say it. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Because it doesn't matter if you have Garner Mitchell. It doesn't matter if you have Nick Foles. It doesn't matter if you have Deshaun White. It don't matter if you draft another damn quarterback. This team is ran by two stupid clowns up top. Jeffrey Lurie and Howie Roseman. And two of these clowns are officially... Uh, one's gone. The other one is learning from his lesson. This team is not going to go anywhere. It don't matter how many picks you have. Yes, we got the second round pick from the Miami Dolphins. Wonderful. How Roseman's going to draft another fucking quarterback next year if he has his choice, bro? Because Harry Roseman is a quarterback factor. Didn't you get the memo? But too bad he's a quarterback factor. But when his quarterbacks don't do what he wants them to do, he gets rid of them. Okay? Carson Wentz didn't want to be here. We had to get rid of him. Part of it was because of Howard Roseman. He didn't want to be with Howard Roseman. Who does? Howard Roseman's a stupid idiot. Obviously, they didn't build around Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz also didn't stay healthy. Carson Wentz also was, had a bad year. And it was time for him to go. It was time to change. We had to move on. I know Eagle fans are still attached. Trust me, I, I still get emotional when he throws a bomb. Trust me, it hurts me. But you know what? I believe in Jalen Hurts. I think this guy... Obviously, his, his arm is not as good as Carson Wentz, obviously. You can see the difference. But that comes with coaching. What are the coaches saying to Jalen Hurts? Are they correcting him with his arm strength? Are they telling him where to throw the football? If Jalen Hurts is that guy, he will fix it. He's also in his rookie year. Carson Wentz is in his fifth. Remember, Carson Wentz in his rookie year wasn't the best thrower. He was missing a lot of people. Okay. Go back to the Carson Wentz's rookie year. He was he was throwing bad passes, okay? Jalen Hurts is in his rookie year. People want to forget. They want to bail on him. You don't bail on a rookie. Just like you, just like people want to get rid of Nick Sani. Nick Sani needs the same chances as Doug Peterson. Because Doug Peterson's his rookie year wasn't good. Now, we are worse because of why. Because of Howard Roseman. Doug Peterson came in there when he had a good defense... That, that was, Brandon Graham was, what, in his 28 years old? He was 27, 29. Fletcher Cox was still producing. Obviously, this team's not what they were. They need to get rid of, I, I would trade Fletcher Cox. I'd trade everybody at this point. I wouldn't trade Miles Sanders because I think Miles Sanders needs another year on the Knicks. Down. I think that when you get rid of, when you get rid of Hal Roseman, do you know how much it's going to mean to this team? When Jeffrey Lurie sees the light and he says enough is enough, then this team will change. 
It don't matter how many picks you get. As long as Howard Roseman is your GM, you're not changing this team. You can bring any quarterback. You can you can draft Matt Corral. Okay, from, from uh, Missouri. It don't matter because he will be the exact same thing. Yes, do they have a better arm? Obviously, obviously, John Hart's not the best thrower. But he can throw. Also, the receivers are not doing what they're supposed to do. Jalen Rager, wouldn't you want to say about him? He's not running his routes right. He's just not a good pick player. Not a good round first round pick. He's a good second round pick. Maybe he's a good punt returner, but he's not a number one. We need another we need another guy that could go with Devontae Smith. Or you give Quez Watkins some more opportunities. Devontae is always open. Jalen Hurts has just got to hit them, man. If Jalen Hurts does not work out, this is, goes back to how Roseman is another pick that's going to go out the window of him drafting next year. Now, he needs to go, man. You only have one carry for Miles Sanders. This is this is why you're not winning. Nothing to do with Carson. Carson Wentz has all, all, all arm strength, but they're running the football. They're running the football. Look at the Colts game. Look at us. They're running the football. Their GM and their head and owner is allowing the coaches to do what their job is supposed to do. Nick Sirianni is being controlled by two nerds up top because they think they'd be good because they won a Super Bowl and they had a head coach who they fired over a bad season. Now I don't I don't like Doug. I don't I don't hate Doug. I just didn't, I thought it was time for him to go. But I see maybe this is why you you might need to give her the high Roseman another puppet that they're controlling. You see it. Shane Steichen stinks. Not a good offense coordinator. We need to trade. We need to get rid of him next year, man. Shane Steichen's the problem, man. He's calling these plays. He's, these are the wide screen plays that are happening because when the Colts, when Charger fans said, when you hire this guy, you're going to see a lot of screen passes. Well, there you go. They weren't wrong. It's obviously predictable. This is why the Chargers let him go, man. It's a joke, bro. It's sad. Obviously, you want to see Jalen Hurts be better. I want to see him. I hope he's better than Carson Wentz. Because watching another quarterback that you know has all the talent in the world, he just can't stay healthy. He, can't, he has to put it all together. But they got the pieces around him. It don't matter what picks you got. I'm looking at the next draft. I don't even think any of them are going to be an eagle. Because Howard Roseman is going to try to reach on picks. He's not going to try to get the best player. You know how Roseman is not going to reach on it. He's going to re you know he's going to reach on him. And yes, it has a lot to do with Howard Roseman. You can say, well, why do you bring up Howard Roseman all the time? Because he's the fucking problem. He's the goddamn corporate. Even Philly Mike shot to him. He said, I'm done with him. He's the biggest Howie defender. People are noticing Howie Roseman is destroying this team. Jeffrey Lurie, a.k.a. Jerry Jones, is destroying this team. This team's a wreck what these two clowns are, on, are here. You're not winning any games with these guys. And Jalen Hurts would look better with another team right now because they're functional. Every player has left us except two players, Jalen Mills and Nelson. By the way, Nelson, I like, you're, you're, you're fucking garbage. I still hate him, bro. The fact that... I don't know, man. I don't know, bro. It's nothing to do with talent, bro. It's how you put your, your quarterback in positions. Obviously, one has a bigger arm than the other. But still, you could still help your quarterback out. We're not even running the fucking ball. It's sad. It's sad. And it's embarrassing, man. One defunctional team, the other one's not, man. One's in his fifth year, the other one's a rookie year. I mean, Carson Wentz, even in his rookie year, wasn't the best. He showed flashes, but he wasn't the best thrower. He was making a lot of mistakes. We got to give Jalen Hurts time, man. He's a rookie. I think people need to stop saying... And stop saying every quarter, well, let's bring Mitchu in. Mitchu stinks. Stop it, man. Jalen Hurts not the best thrower, but let me tell you something. Nick Siani is literally not doing his job because you got two stupid nerds who tell him what to do. And you see it. You see it. Obviously, and you know what? Look, man, people wanted to fire Doug in his rookie year. And you couldn't say, no, we did Yeah, you did. Yeah, you. I heard people say fire Doug after week one. Get Nick Sonny another year and see what happens. When Howie Roseman's not here and we get a confident GM that will let him run the team how he wants to, 
Then you'll see a difference. And to that, you're not going to see a difference. You're not. I want to lose as much games as possible because I want Howie gone. And if we have to, we, I listen, I don't like saying we should, because I want to win. But I want Howie fired. I don't want him here. Obviously, he's not, Carson Wentz wasn't the problem. I didn't say he was. He was part of it, but he wasn't the problem. This GM is the problem. This GM is the problem. And you're seeing it. This owner is the problem. And you're seeing the, it goes from the top to the bottom all the way here. So the, coach, the, the GM and owner, we love to blend the coach. But what about up top here? What about these two? What about those two up there? They're running this franchise to the ground. So when you want to blend the head coach, I see a lot of controversy saying Nick Sound is terrible. Is he terrible? I don't know. I can't judge him because when you got two nerds up top, they're not doing their damn job. This is what you have. The functional between a functional organization. That's why the coach are doing good. That's what they're two and four, by the way. So I don't think they're doing the fantastic, but they have a better team because they're putting talent around the quarterback. And they're giving the quarterback best positions. They're putting him in the best position. They're running the football. Except that we don't. Let me know what you think. I'm out.